This is a step-by-step -step guide on how to create your own CNC machine with a Windows laptop, an Arduino Uno with CNC shield and four stepper motors. We'll use two motors to control the Z axis, one motor for the X axis and one motor for the Y axis. In the end I'll show the mechanical construction of my CNC machine and uh, how I fitted the motors there. So the first step is to set up your Arduino. You will need to flash it with the firmware to run your CNC machine. So plug it to your laptop USB port like that. You don't need an external power supply. The USB will power the Arduino. Then navigate to the Gerbil website which is um, the firmware that you're going to need to convert your G-code into running motors. Please find the link in the description get the X file and then what you're going to need is to flash the firmware file into the Arduino is a software called Xloader uh, please also find the link in the description for this one get it from there zip file Alright, then you can unzip it. I already unzip it to my desktop there, so I can just go there, fire it up, and then just make sure that's the right COM port. Then choose your file, which is oops, like I downloaded it previously. Choose this one, you just un just downloaded it and then press upload then when you look at the Arduino there's these two yellow lights there it's uploading and then it's uploaded and then it's good to go so the next thing that we're gonna need is the CNC shield for Arduino Uno. This allows you to install on it four motor drivers, these guys here. Find links for those in the description too. And I'm gonna show you how to set the um, configuration on it as well. So there's a couple of configurations that I'm going to show, which is uh, one is these two jumpers here. So the jumpers here are for the micro stepping. So I set it to one eighth micro stepping because I just think my machine runs smooth like that. And I just then do the same for all four. And then I put these two jumpers here in the Z because then two of the motor drivers are gonna be doing the same for the Z axis. So there is one for the X, one for the Y, one for the Z and this one is an A for auxiliary so these two will be doing the same because of that thing there. And that's all I'm gonna set. And I'm just gonna install my motor drivers there. That's how they go. Make sure you don't put them the other way around because or else they're gonna be toast. Like that. And there you go. 
for motor drivers so it's ready to go so the last things that you're gonna need are of course four stepper motors these are four wire stepper motors uh, find a link for those in the description and you can see there a four pin connector where this goes to um, you can connect this either way uh, the motor will rotate in the other direction if you just do this or that uh, so let's connect this guys I will use this motor this one there for the Y axis so that's where it goes there I'm gonna use this guy there for the X axis goes there and the two motors for the Z axis I just connect one of those here and the other one there and then I'm gonna need a 12 volt power supply so 12 volt 6 amps power supply came with the socket I took it out this one's the plus this one's the minus and uh, yeah your board has a plus and minus 2 that's the one on the right is the plus I'm just gonna fit that in tighten it fit that guy in there as well doesn't want to go put it there tighten this guy there looks good and solid just gonna place this here now this board goes on top of the Arduino you can see that the Arduino has sort of spacer there and uh, this has a spacer too so that's how it that's how you fit it like that spacer to spacer so fit it on top just press it to place and uh, it, it all goes well then we should have um, everything working it's gonna plug that in there all right gonna plug the 12 volt power supply there so for the last part you need some software to run your CNC machine the one I use is Gerbil Panel you just download it from there and then you unpack it. I already unpacked it to my desktop here. And um, you just need to run it. Don't need to install it or anything. I put it in full screen. And then you do connect. And it will work. And uh, yeah, you're good to go. So you see the X motor moving there the Y motor moving and the Z motors moving there so that's about it now you just need to set this thing on your mechanical setup I do hope you make your own CNC machine you're welcome to ask any questions you have in the by using the comment section have a good time